Hey, it's starting. Yeah, come on. Welcome back to our very first virtual rally. My name is Mark. My name's Amy. And my name's Brianna, and we will be your hosts for this rally. We're already in our second month of our school's closure. We miss our friends, we miss our staff faculty, and we miss our campus. We might even miss our classwork. To be honest, I definitely do. We didn't expect to end the year this way. ASB had many special events planned to end our year together. Eighth graders, we're really sorry the year isn't ending exactly the way you planned, with promotion and eighth grade promotion week. And seniors, our heart goes out to each of you. As many of you know, I have a sister in high school and I have watched her work extremely hard during her high school career. She told me her ideas that she had, which could have made these last few months awesome for her senior class. I know other seniors have had many ideas of what they would do during these last few months. I know how frustrating it is to not to be able to have these last few activities of high school. People that have siblings, try to do something fun for them. Make them feel that everything's going to be okay. For our seniors out there, things are going to go the wrong way, but it's the way that you turn it back. Sometimes our journey through life is unexpected and challenging, and it's okay to feel disappointed. But what's important is that we make the most of it. This is why Belfar, ASB, Staffelty, clubs, and other organizations on campus have come together to make this virtual rally just for you. Buck family, we hope this presentation will bring you joy to your home and your hearts. So thank you for joining us. In this rally, we will be celebrating Dude Be Nice and recognizing some unsafe heroes on our campus, while also keeping safe social distancing. We have some special performances and we will be determining who will win this rally's spirit stick with our class competition. So be sure to stick around to see who wins. We want you to know that this rally is suitable to watch with your entire family. So we hope you enjoy it. We will continue our new tradition here at Bellflower Middle and High School, where we would have Axel, our ASB president, start us off with the Pledge of Allegiance. Please stand and join us in showing respect for our country. Please rise. Place your right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Now, to get this virtual rally pumped, we want some excitement from our classes. Let's start off with the class that won the first beer stick at our Monsters Inc. rally, the Juniors! Alright, that was great. Now, let's hear from the other class that won the spear stick. They might be the youngest on campus, but they were also the loudest. Let's hear from the 7th grade class of 2025. <laughs> That was impressive, but let's see if the freshman can beat that. Freshman, let me hear you. 23. Not bad, not bad. But I think the eighth graders can do better. Eighth grade, show them what you got. Whoa, they're pretty excited. I'm pretty sure the sophomores can beat that. Let's hear it from the sophomore. We have our seniors. I think the seniors have their eye on the spirit stick. Seniors, show them how loud you could get. It seems like all the classes want this rally spirit stick. We'll see who wins as we go on. Did Be Nice is a program we brought to our campus many years ago. We celebrate it every spring. For a full week, we plan activities centered around practicing kindness, empathy, and compassion. Why does being nice even matter? According to the research posted by the Dubinas nice organization, being nice is scientifically proven to increase happiness, specifically kindness. Kindness increases your happy hormones, which can cause all kinds of amazing benefits. The benefits include reduced stress, healthier heart, better mood, increases concentration, slows aging, and it makes you more popular. We reached out to Brent, one of the founders of the Dude Be Nice Project, for some kind words. Here he is. Hey 
Hey, Bellflower. This is Brent from Dude Be Nice coming to you from our office in Whittier, California. I don't know if you knew we were in Whittier, not far from y'all. Um, I haven't been in my office in a long time, so it's a little surreal to be here. But I wanted to take a minute just to share a couple of thoughts I have with y'all as you head into the end of the year. One, I hear you're doing a Dude Be Nice week in some virtual capacity. I think that's awesome. The Dude Be Nice week is all about creating events and activities that inspire kindness, gratitude, and inclusivity. And while we can't necessarily be in proximity to each other, I can't wait to see the creative things y'all come up with to really make your community a better place. I love hearing what you guys are doing and inspires us to keep doing what we're doing. Uh, the second thing I wanna talk about is, this is a really weird time. None of us have ever, have ever experienced a pandemic before. And so I just want to encourage you that whatever you're feeling is okay. You know, I've gone through a range of different emotions. Our business has been impacted. That's really scary. I've been optimistic. I've been sad. I've kind of been all over the board. And what I've realized is that whatever I'm feeling is okay. Whatever you're feeling right now is okay. However you're using this time right now is okay. But I want to also encourage you guys just to think of ways to come out of this maybe a little bit stronger. And that could be by reading more, being creative, spending less time on TikTok, or creating your own type of content and activities that are meaningful and are going to uplift your community. So whatever you're feeling right now, just roll with it. And, and uh, I know we're all going to come out on the other side a little bit stronger. And then the last thing I want to talk about is... Um, I really just want to send a message to y'all that thought you were going to be graduating just like you would expect to at the end of high school or middle school. And now you're like, wait, I'm at home. I'm not going to be graduating with my friends. This is weird. I'm kind of bummed out. First, you have a right to feel bummed out about it. But the other thing I want to suggest to you is just because you're at home and you're not going to be wearing a cap and gown with all of your friends, it doesn't mean you can't celebrate. I can't wait to see the creative things that you guys do to celebrate the hard work that you've already done. And while this is a challenging time, just know this unique experience will be part of your story. This adversity will actually make you stronger and more resilient when life throws you other curveballs, which are definitely going to come. So Bellflower, I, uh, I just want to say thanks for all you guys have done to support Dude Be Nice. Uh, we love seeing it come to life. We, we can't wait to see how it comes to life uh, during this virtual week. Uh, for you seniors uh, and anybody graduating, um, hang in there. Uh, make this moment something that you will never forget. Document it. And so when you look back on it, you go, that is something that I lived through and um, I can get through anything. We're all in this together. It's very challenging. It's very strange. But uh, the more we look out for each other and take care of ourselves right now, the better we're all going to be. So thank you guys very much. Can't wait to see what you all come up with. Uh, have a great day. We want to say thank you so much to Brent and everyone at Dude Be Nice for your resources and your support. Your impact on our school continues to be a positive one. So Bucks, let's see some niceness in action. I know I miss our staff faculty on our campus, and others at our school do too. Well, don't worry. They're back to show you how they stand out in this game of Never Have I Ever, to surprise you with what they have and haven't done. Hey Bucks, I'm here with our class advisors. It's so nice to see all you guys. On behalf of the Bellfire Buck family, we just want to say thank you guys so much for all you guys have done for us. It's just incredible. Thank you all for being here. We're celebrating Dude Be Nice Week, so I've invited you guys here for a little Never Have I Ever with a special Dude Be Nice twist. If you have done the action, they will raise one of two signs, whether they have done it or they haven't done it. For our bugs family at home, feel free to play along. If you have done the action, put two thumbs up. If you haven't done the action, then just nod your head and say, I will do the action in the future. You guys ready? Awesome, let's get started. First question. Never have I ever given up my seat for a stranger. Awesome. Okay. Never have I ever purchased a Christmas gift for children that are not mine. Never have I ever bought food for a stranger who needed it. Never have I ever tried really hard to make someone's day much better. I hope you're students. Never have I ever volunteered at a nursing home. Never have I ever donated a prom dress to a senior who needed it. 
good stuff. Never have I ever complimented a drive through worker. Awesome. Never have I ever sent someone flowers. Never have I ever held the door open for someone. It's easy. Never have I ever complimented a stranger. Never have I ever shared an umbrella with someone who needed it. Never have I ever left a pretty big tip at a restaurant. Awesome. Never have I ever assisted an elderly stranger while shopping. Okay, okay, a lot of I haves, I like this. Never have I ever helped someone when their car broke down. Okay, okay, just told your mechanic, okay. <laughs> Never have I ever done a nice thing and told no one about it. Good stuff, good stuff. Never have I ever donated blood to save lives. Never, okay, okay, Miss Allen, uh, okay. Never have I ever picked up trash in public that wasn't mine and threw it in the trash can. Awesome. And never have I ever donated to charity. All right, that was it guys. Now, does anyone want to talk about why it's important to do nice things for others, even if you know the person or not? Hi guys, I'm Miss Meisner. And um, especially having three little boys of my own, um, I think it's good that, you know, we help others and we be nice to others. It just teaches them, you know, that what we do to others, you know, good things will come to us. And um, actually being kind to others uh, makes us feel good about ourselves. So I think it's important to teach um, our children to, you know, even if you don't want to do something that if you do it for others, they're definitely going to appreciate it. And it makes people feel good. Who doesn't want to brighten someone's day with a smile? You know, someone might be having a bad day and just that little act of kindness could change their whole outlook. And that's pretty amazing that one person can change uh, someone's life for the better, even if it's just one small little moment. Well, Buck family, you can see that our stability values being nice. Again, we thank you guys so much for all you guys do. Now, back to Amy and Brianna. Wow, our Staffelty has done so many nice things. Thanks to our Staffelty for participating. Now it's time for our last class competition. In this competition, it will be a scavenger hunt game. Ooh, interesting. It sounds fun. Let's see what it's all about. Hey Bucks, I'm here with Giovanni Gonzalez, my co-host, and Miss Allen, the ASB director and some students from each grade level, from seventh to 12th grade. These students here will represent each grade level in a competition we call the scavenger hunt. We will see which student will lead their class to victory and whichever class wins will get, a, will get more points to win the spirit stick. Let me introduce these students. Representing the class of 2025, we have Cynthia Armstrong. 25, 25. For the class of 2024, we have Linda Onu. 24, 24. Representing freshmen, we have Giselle Perez. 23. Awesome. <laughs> Representing the sophomore class, we have Haiti Garcia. 22. 22. Awesome. Representing juniors, we have Yurima Escalona. 21. Love the energy. And finally, representing the seniors, we have Araceli Marin. Already know, 2020. <laughs> All right, now let's get started with the game. The game is basically you have to find 10 household items in the quickest amount of time. As each player finds the items, they will have to record themselves vlog style and so we can be part of their intention. All right, players, are you guys ready? I will read off the list of 10 items you guys need to find. A pencil, a roll of toilet paper, a TV remote, a blanket, a pillow, a phone charger, buck gear, a backpack, a hat or a beanie, or, and a snack. On your marks, get set, go. Okay, 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 okay.
All right, okay. you're gonna, you're gonna show us your ten items. We're good. Oh, so you have all ten? Um, I think. All right, put that hat on. Put that backpack on. Eat your snack. Let's see it. The first person back was Jari from eleventh grade. So don't prove us wrong, Jari. Go. I have my bug gear, <clears throat> my backpack, my snack, my toilet paper, my pencil, my hat, my pillow, my blanket, my charger. <gasps> my TV remote. Oh. Aww. Aww. Who was second? Who was second? Early. Second place was Arcelli. All right, Arcelli. Show us uh -huh. what you got. Okay, so we got a pencil. Huh? Got it. Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. So I got my pencil. I have my toilet paper. I have my TV remote. I have my blanket. I have my pillow back here. Um, I have my phone charger right here. I have my buck gear. Um, let's see. I have my backpack on. And then we have... Uh, hat and my cookie. And my cookie. All right. Well, it looks like seniors take it. Round of applause for our study guys. <laughs> it looks like our senior is Ashley Marin, and she wins it for the class of 2020. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations to Araceli Marin for leading the class of 2020 to victory. That was a good game, but it's time for the people at home to play along too. Which Staple team member did we recognize last year for Do Be Nice Week? A. Mr. Castaneda B. Mrs. Whitney C. Mr. Tripp or D. Mrs. Kawashima The correct answer is B. Mrs. Whitney In the Do Be Nice Week of 2019, we recognized Mrs. Whitney because of her outstanding service and gratitude towards the students at Buffalo Middle High School. She was also designated as Grand Marshal in the 2019 Homecoming Parade in honor of being recognized. What is one thing you can do today that will stretch your heart a bit wider? A. Make breakfast in bed for your guardian. B. Help clean up. C. Take out the trash. D. All of above. The correct answer is D. All of the above. Random acts of kindness is the best way to stretch a heart out. It's never too late to start being nice. As you know, Bellflower ASB celebrates a business or organization in our community that continuously supports our school. Last year, we recognized Felipe from the ice cream truck. This year, we want to appreciate the YMCA for providing so many free lunches for our students throughout this pandemic. Now, let's see Amy and Nathan recognize this organization. Shout out to Ms. Brian. I was actually playing some bars downtown Nashville. Uh, it was right when he just started. He was playing at Tin Roof this year down in Mexico. Crashed my plaza. Shout out to Luke Brian on Y2 Country. It felt so nice to appreciate an organization in our community and you can do it too while practicing social distancing just like we did. We can't forget recognizing an unsung hero on our campus as well. Last year we recognized Mrs. Winnie with her outstanding service towards our Bellflower Middle High School students. And this year, we would like to recognize Mr. Bean for, well, let's have some students explain it. Hi, Mr. Bean. Thank you for everything you do for Bellflower. I hope you had a good first year. Thank you, Mr. Bean, for all the hard work that you've helped ASB with, with just being here for one year. And we'd like to thank you for everything you've done for us. So thank you. Hey, guys. I just wanted to thank Mr. Bean for all his hard work and dedication towards us. It, was, it really meant a lot to us, and we really needed your help. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Bean, for everything that you've done for our Bellflower School community. We cannot thank you enough. We are greatly appreciative of you, and your hard work and dedication never goes unnoticed. Hey, Books, I want to send a special thank you to Mr. Bean for bringing his hard work, dedication, and creativity to all school events. Thank you, Mr. Bean, for all your hard work and dedication that you put into Bellflower and ASB. We really appreciate it. Hey, Books, I just want to give a big thank you to Mr. Bean because he's always there for us, and he helps ASB's activities by helping with the lights and the sound much, much better. Thank you so much, Mr. Bean. Thank you, Mr. Bean, for all the hard work that you put in. We really appreciate you. Hey, Mr. Bean, I would like to thank you for putting in so much time and effort into our school events, and they wouldn't have been possible without you. Thank you, Mr. Bean, for all the hard work and dedication you put into Bellflower in only your first year. We truly appreciate it. Just want to give a shout out to Mr. Bean for being such an awesome guy. He really does make the activities on campus, like the plays and the rallies, just 10 times more better than they already are. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. You're such an amazing dude. We all love you. And yeah. 
I just want to give a big thank you to Mr. Bean and everything he has done for us this year. You have helped us tremendously and we truly appreciate it. I wanted to say thank you to Mr. Bean for all the hard work that he does for our school. He's helped ASB numerous times with music and microphones at the rallies and even helped us create the amazing Haunted House of Fall Fest. He does so much for not only ASB but for our school and we wouldn't be the same without him. So I wanted to say thank you. I just want to give a huge shout out to Mr. Bean for always being there and for always being willing to help us. Thank you so much Mr. Bean, we appreciate it a lot. I just wanted to give a big thanks to Mr. Bean for putting his time and effort into ASB activities and everything that he has done for us. Shout out to Mr. Bean for all the hard work he puts on campus. He's really dedicated and always has a positive attitude. Thank you. Hey Bugs, I just want to give a huge thank you to Mr. Bean for all his hard work and time he puts into our school and all the ASB activities and all the plays. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Bean, for everything that you do. You truly are such a big treasure to have on our campus. Do Be Nice is all about showing gratitude and being positive, and that's exactly what you are. You're always willing to lend a hand and are always so happy to do your job. Godflower loves you. Hi, I just want to give a huge shout out to Mr. Bean. Thank you for all the hard work and dedication that you have demonstrated towards Belfire High School. Hi, I just want to give a big shout out to Mr. Bean. I just want to say thank you for all the hard work and dedication you put into the school. I just want to say that you truly are amazing and thank you for always lending a hand when ASB needs it. Thank you. Hey, Bucks, just want to send a big shout out to Mr. Bean and thanking him for everything he's done for our school. Belfair High can't thank you enough. Belfair ASB is so proud to make you our Grand Marshal in the homecoming 2020 parade in honor of you. Thanks again, Mr. Bean. During this time, it's important to stay positive. Many of you have turned to TikTok for entertainment, so you might be familiar with the Recreate the Album trend. ASB has put together a video of their own Recreate the Album cover performance, and would love to show you guys. Yes, let's roll the clip. Living a golden experience. Uh, my life too lit is delirious. Uh, I keep that star on my back. Uh, yeah. Look at my face, can't fear. Built to the top like a pyramid. Uh, my lineage lit and it's serious. Uh, bring the beat life like journal. Uh, young gang star flip the kill switch. Jojo, pose, pose, pose. Jojo, pose, pose, pose. Jojo, pose, pose, pose. Jojo, pose, pose, pose. Are you sure you're not an enemy stand user? Huh? Air to Manina, can't stand. Gang start, gang moves, fans get bigger Rock, paper, scissors, my hands too different Move like Bruno, Mike, dip in a zipper Shooting shots, purple hermit, put you in the picture Shoot shots, gun loaded, feel like Mr. Uh, I been with my dog like Iggy After all my set, fire flame with me Still came with the water, feel like Misty Wife team with me, she missed me, she kissed me <laughs> That looks so fun It'd be cool to see you guys take part in this challenge And make videos like these on your own during your free time Next up, we would like to show a special video to acknowledge our brigade. We have brought back their most memorable show of the year, Identity, which has performed at our homecoming halftime show. Cue the clip. to see what shows the brigade will do next. Now, here are some more trivia questions. Let's see if you can get them right. What is the correct way to be nice to someone on social media? A, spreading rumors. B, cyberbullying. C, insulting them. Or D, adding a positive comment. The correct answer is D, adding a positive comment. 
Add any positive comment, whether that's complimenting them or being nice with your words, can really brighten someone's day and blossom a friendship. What should you do if you see someone getting bullied? A. Walk away. B. Tell an adult about it. C. Just watch. Or D. Record it. The correct answer is B. Tell an adult about it. You should tell an adult about a situation so that no one can get hurt and so that they can help out and try to prevent the situation from happening again. Next, we would like to give a shout out to Key Club for being very active and providing events for the students. They have participated in this rally and will reveal what's in their paper. Let's take a look at the video. Club for your support. I think it's time for another class competition. Yes, and this class competition is going to be a little different. Our very own admin will be representing a class to see who has the most spirit, just like we do. Whoa, I like this twist. Let's see our admin play this game. Hey, look, we're here with our administration team here for a class challenge. Ms. Lopez representing class of 2025 and Blue. <laughs> Sir Lundgren representing the class of 2024 and Rocking the pink today. Let's go 24. Ms. Suze Paredes representing the class of 2020. Hello, sunshine yellow. Ms. Winnie representing the class of 2022 and Orange. Ms. Espinosa representing the class of 2021 and Purple, let's go juniors. And Mr. Castaneda representing the class of 2020 and Mighty Green. They will be competing to end spirit points for the class that they are representing in the game in a game we call Oreo Cookie Competition. I mean, you'll have 60 seconds to get as many cookies as you can from your head to your mouth without using your hand. If the cookie falls, you'll have to start over. Let's see who can get the most cookies and win those spirit points. We're setting the timer on your mark, get set, go. Mr. Lundgren's getting close. Oh, that's one cookie. Mr. Oh. Lundgren has one cookie for the class of 2024. Ah, Perez, 2023. That's one cookie. Oh, 2020's got a cookie. We've got a three-way tie here. Espinoza for 21. Ooh. 10 seconds. Damn. Oh, Perez. Oh, and class of 2020. Ah, Lundgren, nice. One cookie. I got two. I got two. I got two too. Oh, great job. We have a four tie. We have a four way tie with the green, purple, yellow, and pink. So we are on to set and death cookie competition round. First cookie in wins. On your mark, get set, go. Who will get that cookie to their mouth the fastest? No hands. Who will it be? It's looking like 2021. Oh. 2021. I got it! Oh, 23! Uh, Woo! Ah, the freshman gets points! Congratulations to Ms. Paredes in leading the freshman to victory. Next, we have a TikTok made by our amazing cheer team. Yes, they came together to make the Pass the Pom Pom TikTok, and I think it's phenomenal. I agree. Let's see it. Level up, level up. All this on me so yummy. So yummy, no you want this yummy, yummy all in your tummy. Level up, level up, level up, level up, level up. This beat is so much better. I'm chilling, I'm winning, like on another level. Oh, you can talk all you want. See me as a prayer, nothing I'm afraid of, and I can have a really good job done by our two team. They rock. All right, it's time to test you guys on your kindness. How should a nice person treat their friend? A. Compliment them. B. Support them. C. Be generous. Or D. All of the above. The correct answer is D. All of above. A good friend should always compliment their friend to make them feel good about themselves. What community did we recognize for Dude Be Nice last year? A. Taco Nasso. B. Big Savers. C. Cherry's Donuts. Or D. Felipe the Ice Cream Man. The correct answer is D. Felipe the Ice Cream Man. The community we recognized last year was Felipe the Ice Cream Man because he is helpful to the kids 
and he gives a ratio of the money he earns back to Bellflower. We recognized him by giving him donations after school and appreciated him very much. As you all know, a lot of our athletes in spring sports didn't get to play their hearts out at their games. We would like to show recognition to these sports to remind them of the memories they made and the skills they worked on. Special thanks to our athletes for keeping their head in the game and their practices. We would also like to thank our coaches for training and supporting our student athletes. Now, as we determine who wins the spirit stick, let's see all classes for the most spirit for the last time during this virtual rally. I wonder which class wants it the most. Classes, show us your dances. <laughs> Well, those classes can dance, but I think the spirit stick goes to... Wait a minute, Mark. We can't decide the spirit stick like this. What if the other students are watching? Oh, you're right. For those of you watching this, if you want to win the spirit stick for your class, all you got to do is take a picture of yourself wearing your class color while watching this video and submit them to We Are Bellflower. The two classes with the most submissions will earn the spirit stick and be announced on our Instagram. So make sure you send them in.
Thank you both so much for watching. We miss you guys dearly. We hope you guys are safe and healthy. Yes, let's try to stay Bellflower strong and continue to be positive. I agree, because unity creates success. Now, let's roll the credits. Self-right